At school, I'm known for having the lightest backpack out of all of my friends. In school, like we have to walk so much. Like there's eight minutes between each class period just to give us time to walk from one end of campus to another. So having a light backpack is very important. And all of my friends just have these huge bulky backpacks with like three two inch binders in them. And I'm like, girl, stop. You're killing yourself. You're slowly, painfully killing yourself. So yeah, I'll be sharing what I do to keep my backpack as light as possible because high school is incredibly difficult to survive. So you need basic essentials while also not like encumbering yourself with too much weight and too much trash. Cause I have this one friend whose backpack is literally filled with trash and papers and they're all scrunched up. And I remember, this time where the teacher asked her to get her homework out and she like dug around in her backpack for like five minutes and pulled out this rumpled piece of paper and then everyone started laughing at her so karma for not taking care of your backpack okay. also i'm known for being like the bougie kid i like wrote my name on my name tag in like cursive because i usually always do that and i also have like this fancy signature so like my friend saw that she was like oh my god so bougie and that just stuck so now I'm the bougie kid and I have to live up to the expectation of having fancy school supplies, so yeah. Also, just a disclaimer, none of these products are sponsored, okay? None of them. So expect honest critiques about these products. Also, I'm not recommending this to everyone because I know all of our habits are different and students have different workloads. So I'm just sharing what I do and if you're interested in keeping a light backpack, just try following my advice and getting the products that I got. But if you need a heavier backpack, don't do what I do. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be introducing is my backpack. This is a Himawari backpack. It's Japanese. I got it for like 30 bucks off of Amazon. I really like these gold accents and the zippers. And yeah, this backpack has a ton of little pockets that I can't keep track of. This like allows you to access your backpack from this weird place. I don't know why they would put that there, but like if you don't feel like opening your backpack the normal way, you can do this. <laughs> There's a USB charging port that I never use, but if you're ever interested in using a USB charging port attached to your backpack, then get this backpack. There are these water bottle pocket thingies that I also never use because I always keep my water bottle in my backpack, which is probably a bad idea. It could leak and all my stuff would get ruined, but we have this thing at school where people would steal each other's water bottles by pulling them out of these pockets. So I protect my water bottle by keeping it in my backpack. People have started like unzipping backpacks while we're walking down the hallway so that might be an issue but yeah good backpack it's very high quality and it also looks bougie and it's apparently water resistant which i've never tested before and i don't want to if you ever need a water resistant backpack in case like it rains or something this one works it's not too expensive it is a little on the small side but if you're following my light backpack regimen then it works but if you have a ton of stuff then you shouldn't even be watching this video. It has this weird opening. It looks like a mouth. It really can't hold that much stuff. I play tennis and we have to carry our rackets around all day. And usually the sports people have two backpacks and they carry the other one on their chest. I always keep everything in one backpack and I had to switch backpacks and not use this one anymore. It looked super weird with my racket sticking out of it. But as soon as the season is over, I'm switching back because I love this backpack more than my generic sports backpack, which I'm not introducing because I hate it. So yeah. Next thing is my file folder. This is made out of gray leather and it has these cute gold accents that match my backpack. Um, This was like 17 bucks or so. I got it in Staples. I keep all my subjects in here. You can see it like this. It actually can hold a lot of paper even though it's super thin which i really like it's also lightweight as well like all my friends use binders and so i'm like don't do that because they're hard and heavy and this is just a much better option get file folders and not binders and if the papers ever do overflow you can always empty it out and like store it at home that's what i do for future studying so this is a system that's worked for me throughout all of middle school and um it's working so far in high school so i'm recommending this to you please do not use binders and use this instead and just carry a few notebooks for note taking you don't need binders all my friends are convinced that binders are necessary and they really aren't replace them with file folders so much better lots of space and it's soft so it doesn't like dig into your back 
Next thing are my campus notebooks. These are great notebooks. They're a Japanese product. That's like their biggest selling point because Japan is known for making the most over-engineered stationary products. The paper is like super creamy and smooth and really satisfying to write on. According to legend, you can do this and the paper doesn't fall out. I guess like that's a sign of high quality paper, but I'm not sure. This notebook bends easily, but it doesn't crease. And the paper doesn't rip often. Like I've had notebooks, especially spiral notebooks. Spiral notebooks are the worst because the paper just like sheds out of the notebook. And composition notebooks are much better. If you're planning on getting composition notebooks instead of those crappy spiral notebooks that just shed paper, um, get these because these are super high quality. These are actually my mom's, but she donated them to me because I need them for school. So they're really aesthetic and so and satisfying to write on and they're Japanese so get them Next thing is my water bottle, which is an iron flask water bottle. This brand is for the quirky people who don't get hydro flasks because we don't buy trendy products. So instead we get iron flasks. These also have really cool designs, but my favorite was this marble one. This one is so pretty and also super high quality. Like it keeps your water warm and cold very well. Sometimes my parents will pack me hot water because we're Asian and we do that. And um, it stays hot. It burns my tongue eight hours after it got packed. Um, this doesn't have a single dent in it and I've dropped it like at least 500 times, so kudos to an iron flask. Um, next thing is my pencil pouch. This is, I have no idea how to pronounce it, Pip? Peep? I don't know. It's a clear pencil case that's plastic and it's very bendy and stretchy. It came with a smaller pouch inside. Apparently it's supposed to carry stuff that you don't want other people to see because like the rest of this is transparent, but I'm using that pouch for something else, which you'll see later. So this is my pencil pouch. And as you can see, there's three things inside of it, but yeah. The next thing is my pencil slash pen. I'll explain. This has four pens, four different colors, and also a mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencil. And it has an eraser too. It has this tiny eraser on top. This is a uni jet stream pen. And this saves so much space in my pencil pouch. Like if I didn't have this, I would have like four pens and one pencil. It's just very compact way to take notes. Especially like the color options are really good for color coding your notes, which I love doing because I'm a very visual based person. Very, it's also like very clean and aesthetic and it matches my pencil pouch aesthetic of like white stuff. Next thing is my highlighter. This has five colors, also good for color coding notes and all in one thing super convenient um also i have these emmet emmet i don't know they're like extremely fine and they have you can see the little tip there you can prop this up on the table like just go like this and then you can just take the pens out and write and each pen has their individual slot it's super aesthetic also a product of japan because Japan slays. These are very convenient, good to use. I really like this opening mechanism. Very satisfying. And yeah, this is for whenever your teacher decides to assign coloring projects because she thinks we're still in kindergarten. We're in high school now, but we still need markers and coloring pencils and it's just a pain. Finally, we have an emergency pouch, which I got with this pencil case. These came together. This was supposed to be inside, but I didn't have enough space. So I took it out and used it for special purposes. As I've said before, high school is very difficult to survive. So you need a lot of things. First of all, I have lip balm. This is like a medicated lip balm. And yeah, and then I have this N95 mask, which is PTSD from COVID. Just in case I ever feel sick in school or if I'm around someone else who seems like they're sick, I'll just put this on. Also, I have a band-aid for like paper cuts and stuff. It's like a small band-aid. I get paper cuts a lot and I never know they're there. It's so thin and sharp that you can't tell. A few minutes later, I'll realize that my finger is bleeding and then I'll need 
need a band-aid. I also have a mini alcohol wipe. This is really convenient in case I ever get anything dirty and need to clean something. And I also have SPF 70 sunscreen for tennis practices. But I always depend on my friend to bring her spray-on sunscreen because I'm too lazy to rub this. I also keep a hair tie but I can't find it right now so it won't be featured in this video. That's all. everything in my emergency pocket. Okay, so the last thing in my backpack, crappy school Dell laptop, yes. Very slow laptop, pixelated screen, but I still like it, okay, better than nothing. It's a good laptop. You're forced to use this Dell laptop, which is probably like several years old, but it's fine. I still love it. I also bring like my, ear uh, my AirPods and also a set of wired earbuds because crappy school laptop can't figure out how to connect to bluetooth so i have to bring weird earbuds as well but yeah they're not here because i lost them but just know that i usually have them in my backpack so yeah anyways that's it for today i hope this video was helpful in any way thanks for watching like comment and subscribe me subscribe me subscribe me <laughs> anyway subscribe me um thanks bye